All right, guys, it's Wednesday, and just like yesterday, you know, we had the RBA yesterday, and today we had the RBNZ on the OCR, the official cash rate. Um, good news or bad news, I don't know where we're going to start, but let's go for it. Well, first of all, subscribe to our channel, you know, we are pumping some good contents on a daily basis. Um, if you haven't participated on my webinar, uh, then luck of you, luck for you that uh, we've recorded the webinar and posted just today. So have a look on the channel and uh, give us a thumbs up on this video um, and comment down below if you have any questions related to the RBNZ or related to any trading aspe aspects that you may have. All right, let's go. So today at um, 12 o'clock, right, at lunchtime in Australia, uh, the RBNZ came in, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand came in and decided to leave the cash rate, the OCR, the official cash rate, and change it at 5.5. Well, I'm looking at the consensus here and it is as expected. So the market didn't have much move on, you know, either bearish or bullish side. But for the long-term view, we need to know what are they talking about. So let's have a look on the um, rate statement here on my hands. Well, they first started saying that the Monetary Policy Committee today agreed to hold the official cash rate, the OCR, at 5.5%. Interest rates are constraining economic activity and reducing inflationary pressure as required. So what does that mean? Does, it does mean that they are getting what they want. But we're going to go further ahead and we're going to have a look on that. But they say that it needs to be higher for longer. All right. So it is constraining the economic growth and the economic activity. Um, and reducing the inflationary pressure on the economy. So this is working quite well the way they want, if you don't, if you, if you get me. Um, and they go ahead and say that demand growth in the economy continues to ease, right? And the GDP, the gross domestic product, um, growth in June quarter was stronger than anticipated. Um, the growth outlook remains subdued. With monetary conditions remaining restrictive, spending growth is expected to decline further. Spending growth is expected to decline further. So what are they basically saying on this paragraph is the third paragraph. They're saying that, yes, they know that the economy continues to ease. The economy, it is um, slowly slowing down. But the GDP from June um, last year to June this year, you know, this whole year, uh, it was quite positive. So it was stronger than anticipated. And the growth for the economy remains subdued. So they probably don't want to say that, but they're probably expecting the economy to be, um, you know, on a lower foot of growth in the next quarter or so. Um, they go ahead and they talk about the globally, so the economic uh, growth remains below trend and the headline inflation has eased for most of our trading partners like Australia, like um, uh, Japan and, and of course them, um, US, um, UK, um, Europe and so on. Core inflation has also eased but to a lesser extent. Weakening global demand is putting downward pressure on New Zealand, dollar, uh, New Zealand exports, volumes and prices. Apart from oil, global import prices have eased. Of course, you know, we can see in the last couple of weeks, in the last couple of months, oil prices have just rockety. Um, and there are a few economists around the globe saying that they will can expect another 20% up move. I don't trade commodities. I can't, <clears throat> sorry guys, I can't come here and say for you that this will happen. Not quite sure, um, but yes, I do sort of understand why the prices are so high and I have explained already and I've explained these when I've talked about the Canadian dollar yesterday on my webinar, so have a look on the video. Um, anyways, so in the end, 
that's the most important paragraph, I would say, the first one and, and the last one, for this rate statement. They say that the committee agreed that the OCR needs to stay at a restrictive level to ensure that annual consumer price inflation returns to 1-3% to target range and to support maximum sustain sustainability of employment. All right. Most important on here is this part. The committee agree that the OCR, that basically the rates, needs to stay at a restrictive level to ensure blah, blah, blah. So they are basically telling us we're not going to cut the rates. It needs to stay at restrictive levels um, at 5.5% or more. So we have, you know, we can already, with them saying this, we can already take off the opinion or maybe, you know, the scenario that the RBNZ would cut the rates this year or anytime sooner. So, but when they do cut the rates, then it will be totally different approach to the monetary policy, right? But for now, guys, that would be it. Um, I wouldn't, um, you know, I don't have anything to trade on New Zealand dollar at the moment, uh, but I'm bearish on New Zealand dollar, especially against stronger currencies like um, Canadian dollar um, as well as the um, US dollar. All right, so if you have any questions, please comment down below, give us a thumbs up on this video, um, subscribe to our channel and share this video to, you know, share the knowledge um, to your friends, maybe he or she uh, likes to trade the New Zealand dollar. So that would be um, very nice, um, you know, inside of um, the monetary policy rate statement. All right, guys, I see you in the next video and next Tuesday, I'm gonna see everyone on my webinar. Have all a great trading week.